Should I know how to code? Should I not know how to code? Will I get a job if I don't know how to code? Ah, oh, this is so confusing! Today I'm answering the most crucial question that is, should designers know how to code? So I'm dividing this video into a few chapters. Chapter number one is about my journey as a designer come developer and how knowing how to code affected my life. Chapter number two are the advantages you will face or you will have as a designer if you know how to code. Chapter number three is the final decision whether designers should or should not know how to code in 2021. And chapter number four will be some resources I utilized when I was just learning initially, which are not only free, but they're also very efficient to know how to code, to know how to design, etc. All right, so talking about my journey, I started off as a photographer and I almost thought I could make a career out of it. The same year I was in between career decisions, somebody asked me to make a website. So I used to sit in the computer lab all day, trying to grasp the concept of coding, learning basic HTML and CSS and then starting to learn things like JavaScript, jQuery. While I was learning to code, I was also making the website side by side. So it was really good practice. I got a lot of encouragement when I got freelance gigs and CodePen was sharing my designs and developments on their front page. So I was getting a lot of people who were appreciating my designs and my code. Towards the end of my school, I knew I had to make a full-time career. So I asked one of my friend's parents who were into the field of tech and design to give me some guidance. And that is what they did exactly. They told me that UX is the next big thing. It has recently entered the Indian market and it can change the face of the world. Now let's talk about the advantages you can have and the advantages I had personally being a UX UI designer who knew how to code. Number one was a whole new horizon of career options. Sometimes what happens is that a career which is started with a bang might not be the best career option for you. And at this point of time, if you know how to code, you can always transcend from UI design into things like web design or things like front end development where you're designing and developing applications. And since you already have good knowledge of design, coding something will be even simpler and easier. Advantage number two has got to be unfair advantage in a workspace. Often what happens is that designers don't know how to code. So talking to developers, communicating with tech people becomes very difficult, especially when they are speaking a different language and you are speaking a different language. It has often happened with me that a developer is trying to explain something and I'm the only designer understanding what he's saying. I've often also gotten into arguments telling them what is a better option and whether they can implement something or not. Let me tell you a little secret. A lot of developers will try to get out of a situation by saying it's too difficult to implement. Knowing how to code, you can always argue that something is simpler than it looks. And a lot of times I've won arguments. So that's another advantage as well. Knowing how to code also gives you a great appreciation for the products you're designing. Oftentimes when we're designing something, especially when we're beginners, it's hard to know what can be implemented, how it will convert from this design into an actual full fledged product and what goes behind the scenes. Knowing how to code, first of all, helps you to know what you can implement and how can you make a development process easier and efficient. Also helps you analyze what an application will be like, look like and feel like when it's actually ready. Gives you a whole new appreciation of what goes behind the scenes and how an application comes to life. Another really great advantage that I found very useful is things like Webflow and Editor X or even Bravo Studio will have a smaller learning curve if you already know how to code. Trust me, when I started developing on, uh, on no code tools, there was a lot of jargon. Now let's move on to whether you should start learning how to code and how difficult it's going to be for you. Number one, the basic languages are always going to be super simple. Learning CSS, HTML, even JavaScript might only take a day or two if you just go through and brush through some of the really cool courses that I will be mentioning later during this video. CSS is so simple. Color red width 100 pixels margins 24 pixels font family sans serif all these properties are things we already know as designers so we just need to understand what a particular syntax is and we can already implement a lot of these from design to code and it's easier to understand for designers like us see at the end of the day ux ui designers will never need to code 
but understanding the platforms you're designing for. If you're designing for Android and you don't know anything about Android Studio, Kotlin, and the various other frameworks being used for Android, you will never really get to know what you're creating for. It's like someone who owns a sweet shop is diabetic. It's as crazy as that. Before we even get to the next segment, there is a difference between knowing code and writing code. Knowing code is when you know the principles of code, the syntax, how a particular platform works, and how a certain function or technicality can be implemented using code. Writing code is when you're actually having to solve problems on the coding side of things or development side of things or even the backend side of things. Those are not what you really need to learn as a designer. You want to grasp the concepts of coding, the concepts of development, the concepts of tech rather than understanding each and every line of code. So know the difference and this will help you out a lot. Now let's actually move on to how you can start learning how to code and understand the concepts better. Granted, actually doing a coding project will help you understand code more than anything else. A platform like Team Treehouse is where I started from. Team Treehouse is a bunch of practical, very easy to understand videos and courses that you can take up. They have a seven or a 14 day trial, I'm forgetting, but it's brilliant. You can start with the trial, understand the basics of things like HTML, CSS, Android, iOS. Also, they have much more than just coding and design. They have UX product, business, marketing, and so much more. There are also some Duolingo style applications for your phone itself, where you're quizzed on coding and principles of development. And I'll link a few down below. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but they're there for both Android and iOS. And you can learn on the go, just simple exercises, quick things to understand, and they're teaching you side by side. So it's a win-win. Another great way to just understand the concepts of coding and without having to code yourself. So the final decision from my end is yes, you should know how to code if you're a designer. Again, should know how to code, but don't practically do it if you get what I mean. If you found value in this video, if you found this video interesting, make sure you hit the like button. I post such videos every Monday and Thursday. I post things about UX design, UI design, sometimes about code as well, like this one. I do a lot of tutorials, design news, and so much more. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, so click the bell icon, otherwise you might miss out. I'll see you every Monday and Thursday, same place, same time. Till next time, God bless.